guys, welcome to my kitchen. So today I'm gonna make like a Brazilian traditional dinner, something like that, that my my baby loves because he's addicted to this food he wants all the time. So I'm gonna make for him today, tonight actually, because it's already night. And I'm gonna show you because I, I don't think you guys are familiar with some Brazilian food. This is not like something super hard to do, it's just an everyday meal in Brazil. Not now because meat is actually expensive, right? Everywhere. Let me show you my shop first. So guys, I'm a little late because you're gonna be home soon, so I just um, I got some snacks. I'm gonna make a guacamole. <laughs> Mexican mixed with Brazilian. This is not really Brazilian vegetables, but I'm gonna make it for me. I need to eat some vegetables, guys, for my baby. I love orange juice. Loves Coke Zero. <laughs> um, I like to drink milk. I'm addicted to milk. I don't know if it's good. Some websites say it's good, some not. And this is my love. My second love. Look. I love grapes, guys. I'm so addicted to grapes. I'm gonna make fresh homemade guacamole. It's not so hard. I have my own way to make guacamole, so let's not watch. Love this pudding. So I got this piece of meat. I'm gonna make a beef stroganoff. Look how much I paid. I paid 12 euros. So expensive. And so small. In the guacamole, I use lime. Avocado, minced garlic. I'm gonna miss the garlic. And that's it for me. The bananas. What else? I love Jello. <laughs> that's my shopping, guys. Let's organize. I'm gonna organize and I'll come back. Okay. So, guys, I already tied my hair. Now I'm gonna show you how I do. I just smash the avocado. I'm gonna use around four cherry tomatoes. So guys, I want him to try, see if he likes You can't even get it, here. Mmm, delicious. Mmm, mm, I love it. So guys, I'm gonna make the beef stroganoff and I'll show you how I do it. 
So first to start, I'm gonna use the pressure pan. If you don't have one, you can just use a normal pan. Olive oil. I mince it the leaf like that, little cubes. I'm gonna be use the onions. Then you close it and leave for 10 minutes. I'm gonna make the rice. So guys, it's not done yet, I still have the second step. So you leave for 10 minutes, around 10 minutes until the meat cook. So the next step is heavy cream. I'll show the heavy cream I have. So guys, so this is the heavy cream I have. It's a Brazilian, a little bit of olive oil. Oops, too much. <laughs> Put too much. Try the garlic. Don't let it burn. Don't let it burn. Don't burn. Don't burn. Don't burn. Don't burn. Don't burn. Damn. So guys, I open a little bit just to see, look how much water it has, just to see if it's tender. I want a little bit more, so I'm just going to leave it for more minutes. I burn. <laughs> I don't know, my head's not working, so I just transfer to the pan, see, it doesn't taste like burn. The burn a little bit. Now the flavor coming out. Look at this though. And put some tomatoes. Like cherry tomatoes cut in half. Okay. So guys, now I'm gonna finish it. I'll show you now. I'm gonna use a little bit of ketchup, a little bit of mustard and my head cream so I'm just gonna put the head cream here Best cook ever. Mm. Mm -hmm. I hope you like me. I love you. I appreciate you. You're the best girl ever. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so guys, it's done. 
a little bit burned. <laughs> but it's done. I'm gonna try if it's good. I think because it burns a little hard, but it's good. It's good, even if I burn both. I don't care. So guys, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs> and thank you. <laughs> okay.